Here's what the scripture says. He that finds a wife finds a good thing. This is women's favorite thing to quote, but they never acknowledge who said it. King Solomon said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. But he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. But women be so fixated on this Western concept of the one or being a man's only woman. But let's go back to that word concubine because the Bible clearly makes a discrepancy between wives and the rest of the women that Solomon was dealing with. Biblically, a woman can only be your wife if you took her virginity. That's why when marriage used to be carried out, they needed tokens of virginity for the woman for the marriage to actually go through. So if you're not a virgin, you can't be a wife unless all the men you have been with have died. It doesn't mean you can't be a good woman. It doesn't mean you can't be virtuous. But biblically, it means you can't be a wife. But the word concubine is used to describe every other woman a man can deal with. A man can take in a prostitute and she will be his concubine. A wife is supposed to be a woman that's only ever known you and is permanently connected to you. You know, all throughout the Hebrew scriptures, the virginity of a wife is very, very important. And we can see right here in the book of Deuteronomy, at the 22nd chapter, you know, the importance to a man, to the Israelite man, the virginity of his wife. You know, to commit zana is to violate the sex laws that the Most High gave out. And being a virgin was one of the sex laws that the Most High intended. You see, when you violate the Hebrew sex laws, you are a whore. The people, the woman of today, 99.9% of the African American women today would be considered a whore by Israelite old biblical standards. Okay, every Israelite man should require evidence of virginity before they get married. If this woman is not a virgin and she is not a widow, then this woman should automatically be reduced to concubinage. Don't ever marry none of these women. If you didn't take these, this woman's virginity, then you a fool for marrying this fucking woman. You know, this woman belongs to that first man. You see? This is the reason why she'll never love nobody like she loved that first man. You can ask her, and the women that are practicing this usually are religious women. It is religious people that seek out getting married more than anybody. And these religious people, women, are no more than modern-day Babylonian, new Babylonian temple whores. And that is a fact, you understand? Um, I've expressed in over a year in, in my videos in the past that if a woman is not a virgin, if she don't meet uh, the criteria to, to, to be a wife according to the Bible, which means she has to maintain a virginity, she's no, she's no longer compatible for marriage. And I base that upon the book of Deuteronomy chapter 24 verses 1 to 4, when it gives you a very, very strict and severe aggregating and gross Copy, uh, gross limit of body count she's allowed to have with just two. And once she surpassed their body count with just two, she's not congruent for marriage anymore. She's been dumbed down and reduced and mitigated to being a concubine, sojourner, or just a plain old um, rented woman, like you wear yourself on Blockbuster Redbox. That's all she is nowadays, and that's the truth, you heard me? Shalom.